What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I encourage you guys to do that right now. Hit that little bell so every time we drop a new video, you get a notification that we are on board. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do on this young gentleman right here is we're going to do a comb over zero fade on no hard line, just basically a comb over trimming on top. Uh, to a zero uh, faded out with a shave with a bronze series nine guys guys right now is a money-making time right now is back to school time if you're a barber and you're not preparing yourself right now for back to school time uh, you're doing yourself a, dis a dissatisfaction right now so what we're doing right here guys is we're getting moving quickly we're using our octane oster octane and basically guys what we're doing is just going right up the sides with our number two our number two blade and the reason we're doing that is uh i went that side i did what i did is on the side where the part is i just went with a number two straight up the size right here i'm going with a number four because he had a lot more bulk so i'm just kind of taking the bulk down leveling off leveling off our playing field like i always tell you guys when there's a lot of bulk you lower it down that way there's more room for you to do your work okay once we do that number four then we're going to go with our back we're going to come back with our number two to just level it all down make it nice and even guys all right, guys, this is money making time right now. Back to school time is the best time, guys. You're going to meet a lot of kids. A lot of kids are going to come through. What you don't want to do is be wasting hours on, on a kid's haircut, guys. You want to move quickly. You want to do as many as you can. That way you can make a lot of money. So there's shortcuts to doing kids haircuts. And this is what I'm talking about in this video right here, guys. Not, you know, you got to move quickly. Because for one thing, when you're doing a child, you, you don't have the pleasure of taking your time. You have to move quickly. Kids get, you know, this kid right here is great. You know, don't, this kid does not move, does not do nothing. But most kids are not like that. Most kids lose their lack of attention. They start talking. They want things. They don't sit still. So you have to move quickly through the haircut. So right there, what he did is I did one, like I told you guys, we went with the number four first, and now we're going to go with our number two, and we're just going to go right up to the, to probably the center of the crown. And the crown being, if he was wearing a crown around his head, that would be the crown. It would be the bottom of the crown, the center of the crown, and the top of the crown. Okay, guys? Just a, if he was wearing a crown all the way around his head. So right there, we went with our number two. So now we leveled everything off now pretty much nice and even so now we're going to create our first guideline guys our first guideline and what i'm using right here is i'm using i'm using the new babless gold fx skeletonized skeleton trimmer guys uh if you guys haven't seen this trimmer i encourage you guys to pick this up this is a phenomenal trimmer phenomenal for those of you that have been following me that's all i've been using lately ever since i picked it up back in may so you can see it just cuts like butter, takes it all down. Now guys, a lot of people tell me, a lot of people ask me, why do I create such a significant line right there? Uh, uh, you know, and guys, this is the way I fade. You know, I, I'm a fast fader, I'm a fast worker. I do a lot of these haircuts. So these are shortcuts that I can show you how to do them so that you can speed up your work. You know, there's many ways to do. You could use a, a, um, a regular trimmer, you could use a balder, you could use a, uh, the Oster with five zeros. There's many ways of doing this, many ways of making this initial guideline. Um, some people only make a small line and leave all the hair below it and then take the hair down later. You know, it's it just up to you how you want to do it. But for me, this is the fastest way of moving, guys. This haircut right here only should take me, me it only takes me 20 to 25 minutes. But, you know, I, I move pretty quick. And that's what you want to do too, you know, when you're doing, especially during haircuts for kids and stuff like that. I mean, you want to, of course, you want to give them the best haircut possible, but at the same time, you want to move quickly and efficiently so you can do more haircuts so you can make more money. Time is money, guys. Remember that. So, right there, we're moving around pretty quickly. We got our initial guideline down, we got our hair nice and even on the sides. Uh, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit right there and, and um, move on to the next section right here. So, now we move on to the next department right here. We're gonna, as always, if you guys don't know me, if you guys are new to my videos, I don't fade all the way around the head, guys. I fade in three sections. I'm gonna fade this side right here, which is the left side, and then the back side, and then the right side. 
So I, as I already went with my number two guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go with my one clip, number one, lever open, that's a one and a half. So if we already went with our number two, what do you think is gonna happen when you go up with the number one? It's gonna blend right in. There's gonna be almost no, no uh, 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 blending possible right there. Uh, so what I did right there, guys, is I still noticed he had bulk from the number two. So I went back with my number two, and I'm just kind of cleaning it up. And, and, and if you notice, I pushed that number two all the way to the almost. If it was if it was a hard line, I definitely push it all the way to the top. But I pushed it down a little bit lower because this is a natural part. So once I did the number two, now I got my number one again. Lever open will makes it a one and a half, and I'm gonna go all the way up, almost to the same spot where I went with my number two. The number one and a half blends into the number two. So now that I went across, now I lower my lever, completely close, and I'm just bringing that machine from the bottom down, from the from initial guideline to the middle, and I'm just blending it up. Number one and a half, and then the number one. Now I take off my clip, lever open, and that's a half right here, the half. I'm gonna create a guideline right there. Once I created that guy line, now I'm gonna lower my lever a quarter way and I'm gonna go back up to the same spot. As you can see, I'm going back up to the same exact spot again. Once I go across, I'm gonna lower my lever halfway and I'm only gonna go halfway up. Halfway up, and as you can see, I kinda pull up right when I get to the spot where I need to go. Halfway up. Once I get to that halfway up, now I'm gonna lower my lever another quarter way. And I'm now I'm just focusing on the bottom shadow, kind of just pushing it up. See, I'm just kind of low, push my 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 handle closed now. Now I'm gonna come back with my trimmer, and I'm gonna push that bottom line right here, my GTX skeletonized trimmer, and I'm just gonna push that line up to the middle. I don't want to go past the middle. As I go past, if I go to the middle, I create like a little secondary guideline right there. You can kind of see it's blurry a little bit. But I'm gonna come back with my with my machine and I'm gonna go quarter way open and I'm gonna push that little secondary guideline. See that secondary? I'm gonna push it back up to our original guideline. Just pushing it up real lightly. These are simple ways of fading, guys. So all we have now is that center shadow down the middle. So what I did is I faded down and then I faded up. Now we're in the middle and all I gotta do is fade out that center shadow line. And what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my half clip, lever open, and I'm gonna glide it across. As you can see, I'm just kind of gliding it across. As I go across it, I lower my lever quarter way and I'm gonna go across it again. I start from right to left, the opposite of reading, I guess you could say. And then I go the other, the other way. Now I lower it another quarter way which is halfway now, and I'm just focusing on that center shadow. Just kind of blend out that center shadow, guys. Remember, guys, my videos are done in real time, so I'm not speeding nothing up. And this is how fast as I work right here. And I'm just fake focusing on that center shadow right there, trying to blend it out, guys. And the reason why I do my videos in real time is because I want you guys to get the real effect of what it takes to get these, these haircuts done, guys. Uh, I try not to speed nothing up, and, and I try to do it as, as evenly as possible. So right there, guys, you can see there's a little bit of a center shadow right in the middle right there. I should have pointed it to show you exactly what I'm looking at. But right there, I'm just using my clip, and I'm just trying to blend it out. Just trying to no, leave no shadow, no, no. You know, there's nothing worse than leaving a, a, a halo all the way around the head. with a, Even if it's just a shadow, guys, even if it's not a line, even if it's just a shadow. Be careful because this 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 shadow right here is the most difficult shadow to get out, which is a secondary shadow of the uh, after you do the half. But of course, guys, there's many ways of fading. This is my technique of fading, so I'm sharing with you guys. Once you guys start cutting hair and getting really good at cutting hair, you're gonna figure out your own system of cutting hair. And once you did that, that system of cutting hair, you're gonna run with it and you're gonna get faster with it and you're gonna get better at it. I've seen it time and time again, guys, trust me. So right here, again, we're going with our number four. We're done with that side, now we're gonna go to the back side. We're gonna go with our number four and we're sliding it right off the side of the top of the head. Number four, just leveling our playing field. This is what I call leveling our playing field. Just getting everything nice and even, right up the sides. And then right now I'm gonna come back with my number two and, and I'm gonna create that secondary guideline again, uh, uh, another guideline. And that guideline I'm gonna take out with my I'm gonna take it out with a little bit of clipper over comb because right here we have a little bit of clipper over comb issue. 
on the side where the hair where the hair folds over you always got to try you, you got to use some clipper over comb to blend it all in so what I'm doing right here is I went with my number one lever open and I'm just gonna go right up kind of creating another like it's kind of a light guideline because we went with our number four first and now we went with our number one and a half and then now right here I lowered my lever to close and now it's just number one on the bottom so we went with our number four and then a one and a half so now we got to blend in that one and a half to the four simple techniques guys simple techniques and now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my steel tooth comb steel tooth comb if you guys don't know about steel tooth comb I encourage you guys to check them out awesome combs for clipper over comb and what I'm doing right there is I'm just fading it out guys just kind of blending it in I'm blending from the one and a half that I went with my one and a half to the number four on the side so you got to blend that out if now you're gonna have a little bit of bulk it's gonna have like a like a layer of bulk all the way around It's way too much I mean that you could do steps right here you could go three two you know then to the one and a half and, and do it in steps and some people do it that way but for me I, I find it to be harder and longer like why take longer doing the haircuts it's better to move around quickly and get these things done you know so that way the kids don't lose their their uh their their ability to sit still <laughs> So right there, we're going back with our one and a half, kind of just cleaning it up. Now that we blended it out with our clipper over comb, we're just going back with our one and a half, going right up to where we just blended it out. Simple steps, gentlemen, simple steps. So now that we're down to the one and a half, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off our clip, lever open, no guide, and we're just gonna go right up and create another guideline, guys. We're just gonna create a guideline probably about one inch up, okay? One inch up. As you can see, I go across, I create that guideline right there. Once I go across, I'm gonna lower my lever quarter way and I'm gonna go back up to the same spot again. Once I go across, I'm gonna lower my lever another quarter and I'm gonna go back up only to the middle, to the middle now. And basically now what I'm doing is trying to push that shadow, that bottom shadow up, you know? Working my machine using the corner always use the corner try not to use the whole machine use it the, use it one side of the machine one corner then the other corner guys right here now i have my lever all the way closed and i was just trying to push that bottom line up that bottom line is not going to come up like that guys so what i do normally is i'll grab my trimmer like i am right here and i'm just going to push that bottom line i'm going to push it right to the middle see how i push it right to the middle and as i push it to the middle i'm kind of creating a secondary guideline again I'm gonna come back right now and I'm gonna push that secondary guideline. I'm gonna push it back up again. I'm gonna come back with my with my uh, with my five star and I'm gonna come back with a, a uh, with a lever quarter open. And I'm gonna try to push it back up to the secondary guideline. Simple steps, guys. Simple steps. All we have now left is our little secondary guideline. I'm gonna come back. No clip. A quarter way. And I'm just gonna stay right below the line. I'm just gonna push that. See that little secondary line? I'm just gonna push it right up to the shadow. And that shadow, the shadow right there, we're going to get that out right now with a half clip. Lever open. Quickly. We move along quickly, guys. This is the way I cut hair. I move along quickly. No lally gagging. Sure, I talk to my clients. And sure, I'm courteous. But, you know, you time is money, guys. Time is money. You don't want to be spending too much time talking and not enough time working. Or you got to teach yourself how to talk while you work. So right here we got the half clip lever open going across it gliding it across as we go across we're going to lower the lever a quarter way and then go across it again as we go across it we're going to see that the shadow is lightening it up now i have my 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 lever quarter way open only and i'm only and i'm focusing on that center shadow just trying to blend it out and as you notice guys below my fade right there you see there's a lot of stubble right there a lot of people leave that like that. I can't believe it. So I don't. I'm going to come back and we're going to shave it right now. And leave this youngster looking nice and smooth. I always tell that to other people. There's a difference between a big out fade and most other people's fades. My, my fades are tight. My fades are real tight. And the reason why is I shave everybody. I shave everybody. Everybody. Even if a kid gets a fade from me, he's going to get fade. He's going to get shaved with their Bronze Series 9. Bronze Series 9 is the most gentle machine out there, guys. So right there, I'm using my number four again. Number four. I'm just going right up the edge right there. Once I went with my number four, 
Now I'm gonna come back with my one and a half lever open and I'm gonna create a guideline, guys. A guideline right up to about the middle of the, the crown, I would say, almost to the parietal ridge. I'm gonna create it right there, little guy. Now I'm gonna come back, clipper over comb once again. See how much hair he has in his, in his face right there, guys? That's what we're gonna shorten it up so that his hair doesn't fall on his face like that. To me, as a father, I think that would be irritating to see the hair on the face, and I, I'm sure that you know that the parents appreciate when you just shorten it down and it's not out of their face no more, man. Because a lot of times you gotta remember, a lot of times kids don't wear gel during the week or at home or stuff like that, so they're not always gonna have the hair all nicely set. You, this is the worst thing to see your kid running around with hair in their face like this. So we're gonna shorten it up right now. So right there was a little bit of clipper over comb, just trying to get the sides nice and even. Now that we got that, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna come back real quick and I'm gonna take off my clip and we're gonna create our next guideline, our half guideline again, guys. Half guideline. Lever open, and I'm gonna go right up about one inch. As I go across, I'm creating a guide right there. That's my half guide. As I go across, I lower my lever quarter way, and I'm gonna go back up to the same spot again. Now I'm gonna lower my lever halfway, and I'm gonna go halfway up. Now I'm closing my machine and I'm just focusing on the bottom line, guys. Simple, simple, simple. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna grab my trimmer again. And I'm gonna come back and clean up that bottom line. Make sure I push that all the way up because I don't want no lines on the bottom. There's nothing worse than a fade with a line on the bottom. A fade with a line on the bottom is called a chili bowl, guys. You don't wanna be handing out chili bowls, trust me. So right there, I got my, my number, half the half clip on there and I'm just going across the guideline. Center shadow, lower my lever quarter way and I'm still just focusing on the center shadow. Now I'm lowering my lever quarter way again. I do it quickly guys, one motion. I don't stop to, to, to lower my lever. I could do it all in one motion as you can see. And right there I'm kind of like closing and opening my, my, my guideline, my, my, my lever and, and, and I'm looking at shadows. Uh, once you develop the barber eye, you, you, you'll see shadows and you'll know exactly what clip to go in there with, what, how, how open you'll, have to, you'll need it. It, it, it. It's just something that you, comes with time and, and doing thousands of fades. Right here, just pushing that center shadow up, guys. Pushing that center shadow up. Do you, when you guys have a, a clients, like this young man doesn't really speak too much, you know, I know him personally, I know his father, and so, you know, he's a good kid, I've been cutting his hair for years and years, but usually when you get a kid in your in your chair, and, and you know, and you know, sometimes they, they like, they tend to talk a lot, and, and what you need to do is you need to get those kids and put them under your belt, you know, be friendly, talk about what they want to talk about, talk about video games, talk about, you know, talk about baseball, football, talk about general stuff, like, get their mind off the haircut, that way they're not worried and concentrating about the haircut, be extra polite, when you have a younger child that's unruly and not sitting still, offer them you know, a, a lollipops. Lollipops are a great alternative for, for keeping the kids in, in control, you know, keeping them on your side. So right here I'm using the Bronze Series 9, like I was telling you guys, every single fade that I do, 99.9% .9 of my fades get fi fi finished off with the Bronze Series 9, guys. I just do it that way because to me a fade has to be super tight. On the bottom it can't be no nonsense no lines no nothing it has to be it has to be super super tight and, or it, it to me it just it looks ugly when you have a, a, a do a zero and there's stubble on the bottom that's one of my pet peeves you know when, when people come work for me at my shop and, and i see them doing zeros and not shaving them um i'll bring that to a, their attention you know at my shop i i expect all fades to be faded out and, and shaved on the bottom because you know that extra tightness the customers are, they, they, they know they see it they, they they can feel it so right there we're almost done guys with the fade the fade's completely done we're just finishing off the fade all we got to do is clean up the top the top's going to be a simple trim um maybe a little bit extra more than a trim because his hair is super long in the front so we're going to trim it down quite a bit Get them in, get him in, in, in tip-top order. Get him ready for school, guys. Back to school time, guys. I love back to school time. You get all the kids in here. Get everybody's, you know, coming in because they want to look fresh for school. This is your time to shine. This is when you win them over right here, guys. You can win them over, make them look good on the first day of school. My God, they're going to keep coming back to you. They're going to become your clients. They're always going to want to sit in your chair. Have a great attitude. Talk to the kid. 
become, make their friends, become their friends. Remember, these kids are going to grow up someday and they're going to have their own kids. And, and, you know, I've already seen it time and time again, guys. 18 years in, in, in this business, I've seen a kid this this age grow up to be a man and bring his child, you know. So think about that. You know, it, you know clientele starts and ends with, with, the, with the kids, you know. That's where it, it starts and ends, you know. So right here, we're going to cut the top now. And, and as always, if you guys are new to my channel, when I cut the top, I saturate it, guys. I like my, my the top relatively wet. Um, my system of doing the top, guys, is always the same as, uh, you know, I cut the top. If it's scissors, I cut it last. If it's a machine, I cut it first. So if this young man would have asked me for a five and a zero, then I would have done the top first. Uh, if he would have asked me for a two and a zero, I would have done the top first. If he would have asked me for an eight and a zero, I would have done the top first. Um, but since it's a comb over and it's scissors, I always do the scissors last. Why? Because that's the way I was taught. I, I know, I know there's a lot of people that do the top first and, and that's okay. That's okay. Like I said, everybody has a different system of cutting hair. You have to figure out your system. So right there, I'm kind of pushing parting the hair to where it goes which side and, and I always start on the side where the part is that's my system right there I lift up right in the front and I'm just gonna take off mm, taking off about an inch and a half maybe almost two inches this hair was very long so I start off on, on, the, on the side part right there and I'm coming all the way across that's my first part that's my first section right there on this haircut right here since there's no left side because we kind of took it off with the number two um, where there's only three sections on top so that was the first section now we're going to move over to the section right next to it now again i'm going to saturate it get it nice and wet and i'm going to pick it up right there and you're going to see when i pick it up i'm going to see my my guide from the from the first section i'm going to lift it up and i can see right there and i stop my fingers right where i finished cutting the last time that way the hair comes out nice and even and his hair is super long so it was you know you, you have to take quite a bit off to make it look, you know, make it look very decent. And like I'm sure, like I said, a lot of times, guys, these youngsters these days, they want the hair super long in the front. And, and you know what? If the parent gives you the opportunity to cut it, I, I encourage you guys to cut it because some of these kids, they get out of control. And the parents, they let them decide whether they want to cut the top or not. And, and these there are these kids running around with these fades on the side and big old mops on top. It, it, it's craziness to me. It's craziness. So right there, I'm done with the three sections. I did one, two, and then the side one was, that was the third one. So now I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna do crisscross. As always, I crisscross, I start from the back, I start from one side to the other side, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up and make sure that I cut everything that needed to be cut. As you can see right there where the part is, there's still a little bit of hair just standing up right there. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little detail work right there too. So I'm just lifting up. And basically, when you checker cut, when you're checker cut like this, it's you're just crisscrossing, miss, seeing what you miss when you come from front to back. So I always like to crimp front to back and then side to side. And by no means, guys, am I an expert at scissors. I don't consider myself an expert at scissors. Um, if anything, I find that scissor work is my weak spot in cutting hair. Um, I'm, 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 as always, I'm, you know, I'm teaching you guys, but at the same time, I'm still learning. I'm learning every day. I'm watching videos. Well, you guys watch my videos. I watch other people's videos, and, and I'm trying to get better and trying to better myself. Uh, what I have under my belt to offer you guys, I have experience. I've been in this business already for 18 years. I got three generations behind me. Um, you know, it, it's just the, it, it's just the, the experience, and, and you know, and the fact that I've been a shop owner for for 10 years now. So it, it makes a big difference. So right there, I'm just kind of going up with a number two again, just kind of lightening up that side. I don't want to leave it too dark. Um, you know, I, I, it's just weird, guys. The, the part right there, a lot of people like it super dark. Some people like it nice and tight, you know. And these youngsters, today and age, they, they don't really like a big dark part right there. So um, I always just, I have that tendency of just cutting it off and, and, and getting it nice and tight where that part is. Um, again, that's just my preference. That's probably my area's preference because the kids around here like it that way, you know, and, and, and guys, it, it's not a wrong way or a right way because you know what? These is these haircuts are done different in every region, every state, every country. Um, what might be look good here 
you know, it might not look good in another country. What I see sometimes from other countries, I don't think it looks that good, but you know, that's just the style. And, and you know what? And that's what's a great thing about doing hair. There's so many styles, so many variations. You could develop your own style of cutting hair. And you know what? As long as people like it and you got clients, there's nothing wrong with that. Like why, it, it, it's, it's plain and simple. It's common sense, you know? Develop your system of cutting hair, run with it, and build up your clientele. Right there, you can't really tell what I'm doing, guys. But I'm just trying to blend out that side. Trying to, I saw a little bit of a, a shadow when I was uh, looking in the mirror, so I'm just blending it out, making it nice and even. Uh, and what I got right there is I got my half clip, and um, you know that was a little bit of a darker spot right there. So I'm just kind of just blending it out, getting my getting my my comb over to look nice and tight, so we can move on to the next part right here. So at this point, the haircut is pretty much done, guys. What we need to do now is we're gonna uh, just do a little bit of detail work. Now, I noticed that on the back back here, there was a little bit of hair sticking up. So again, I'm gonna come back using my steel tooth comb and I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. Evening out the edges a little bit. A little bit of detail work, guys. Detail work is, is the essential part of cutting hair, guys. Give yourself at the end good five, good, I like to do is start on one side and I'll go all the way around right there. See how I turn them around and now I'm going to this side. And this is just the final detail work. I'm gonna get my little flip over and make sure that that corner looks good right there. See how it's a little bit darker right there? I could tell it's a little bit darker and that doesn't look good because guess what? When I hand him a mirror, he's gonna look in the mirror and that's the first thing he's gonna see. He's gonna see that little dark spot right there. So you always got to stand in front of your client and look towards him so that you can see what he's seen. You want to see what he's seen. Even though I have to say, I, I think 60% of the clients, 70% of the clients, when you hand them a mirror, they don't even look at their hair. I remember doing that myself as a child or as a youngster. I remember the, the barber used to hand me the mirror and I look, just look at myself like, mm, looks good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but you always have that one selective clients that they 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 know and they're always on it they're all they're trying to trying to catch you slipping or something like you're doing something wrong you know we all got one of those clients so right there again i'm just working on my fade just doing a little bit of detail work trying to push those shadows up so that it looks nice and tight we want it to be nice and blended we don't want to see no shadows no nothing always have your little my little my baby brush right there you saw my baby brush i always hold them on top of the head you know keep keep a nice firm never feel never feel scared to put your hand on top of your client's hair you know you remember when you're you're, you're cutting somebody's hair you're in charge and you need to do what you need to do to make that haircut look good and sometimes that involves putting your hand on top of their head believe me i do it all the time guys hold that head in place where you need it to be and what I use right there is I use some Suavecito Grooming Spray. And, and um, what I'm going to do is just blow dry his hair to the side right there. Just roll it, rolling the brush over. Use a roller brush. If you probably put a roller brush, I put the roller brush and I start rolling it. And it kind of creates a little bit of a lift. That's what you want when you're using grooming spray or, or a hair setter. You want that little lift. That way when I come back with my pomade, the hair will just lift up and sit real nice. And you notice there's no more hair in front of his face now. So now that his hair, when, when he's not wearing gel, the hair is not going to be all over in front of his face no more. I'm sure the parents appreciate that. You know? Sometimes kids have the idea of they don't want to cut the front, they don't want to cut the top, you know. But it, it, I just did that. Sometimes kids don't know better, you know. You got to teach them. They're your child. You got to teach them. So once I did that little part right there, I noticed there was a little bit of a section right there where it's a little bit of uh, a little bit of a dark spot. So I'm just gonna come in and clean it up real quick. Just finishing up that detail work right here, just getting them all nice and ready. Remember, guys, right now is a time where you can excel at getting more clients, guys. Right now, the kids are gonna be coming in. Kids, talk to them, be nice to them, explain the haircut to them. 
Um, what I suggest, what I like to do is hand them the mirror at the end and then I'll show them how to style their hair so that when they style their hair, they could do it also because a lot of times kids don't know. They, they don't know uh, uh, how to style their hair and, and you know, it's one thing the way they look when they leave our shop, but it's another thing when they get home and they try to style it themselves and they're like, oh, my flip doesn't go over the same way. And it's a lot of times it's because they don't know how to use the product for one and, and a lot of times they don't have the product number two and a lot of times they don't even uh, uh, know how to apply the product so you know those are all things that we need to teach our clients so that when they get home and they do their hair you know they're gonna still appreciate they're gonna appreciate the haircut and they're gonna say oh all right I see how he does it so right there I applied some uh, tip top pomade after I blow dried it and, and I push it down towards the front and then I'm gonna get my little scoop in there and push it over so guys this is the time for you to shine remember that remember this uh, uh, right now you want to shine with all the youngsters you're gonna see a lot of kids coming through right now before school starts so you need to be on your a game win them over remind them that that back to school time is coming and you know if they want to look sharp make sure they make an appointment with you and get back in your chair you know always push your work guys always you know what i mean self promote you always want to be promoting yourself that's the part about being a good barber, self-promoting. You know, myself, I walk around town and, 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 you know, I have barber shirts on, I have barber hats, I have my necklace, I have I have a tattoo on my forearm that shows that I'm a barber. I'm a walking billboard, guys. And the reason being is because when I walk around and people notice my gear, they'll ask me, oh, you're a barber? And now I'll have my business cards in my wallet. And I, yes, I am, sir. And I'll hand them a business card, present myself, and tell them, encourage them to come see me, you know? I always tell them go to my go to my IG. My IG is my portfolio. I post a lot of pictures of my haircuts. That way you can come, you know, see what I can do. And then if you see something that you like in there, you know, make an appointment and come see me. Or if you'd rather walk in, just come on by and walk in. You know, and, and I've been having a lot of success with doing that, guys. A lot of success over the years. And that's basically just you know being proud of what I am. I'm a barber. I love being a barber. I love what I do. I love the way I make people feel. I love the way the kids appreciate my work you know it, it, it's awesome being a barber and you know being a, a pillar of your community where you know you everywhere you go people notice you and, and, and you know they, they they know that you're in charge of making them look good you know and, and to me it's, that's the best part of being a barber is working with the people working with the kids you know and just being a good good barber good person you know helping out so right here at this point the haircut is pretty much complete guys i'm just kind of cleaning them up right here i'm just picking up all the little long hairs you know once you undo your 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 uh, uh drape and and bring down the sanix you'll always notice that kids will have hair on some kids have hair all the way down to their back but as as always you know, i treat everybody the same as a child or adult and i clean up their neck make sure there's no hair on the neck there's nothing worse than a hairy neck on a child, a doll, or anybody. Remember that, guys. So that's it pretty much for this haircut. This haircut is done, guys. Guys, if you guys are interested in seeing myself, Rum Barber, or Antha Barber do demos like this live, we are having a live demo on September 27th in my shop in Azusa, California, September 27th, 2019, guys. So if you guys are interested in coming down and seeing a live demo from all three of us, we're going to be giving goodie bags. We're going to be doing Q&A. It's going to be four hours of interactive uh, uh, haircutting and tutorials, guys. I encourage you guys to purchase a ticket and come down and check us out, guys. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be great information. And it's going to be, and if you're just learning and, and you're just trying to further your career, this is the way you want to do it. Watch videos, go to classes, you know, elevate your mind, you know, and, and, and just keep trekking through it. Keep grinding, guys. As, as I always say on my channel, you got to grind through it. It's not always going to be sunshine and roses, guys. It's not. It's always, there's going to be things that are going to be hard. Things are going to be tough. Haircuts are going to be tough, you know, and, and you got to grind through it and always stay positive and, and do the right thing. Always market yourself and always, you know, encourage your clients. You know, I always tell my clients, you know, hey, man, if you want to maintain this look, then you need to come see me within two weeks. 
you know if you like this look then you need to book an appointment in the next two weeks you know that way we can maintain this look and, and, and you don't have to be uh, uh, all shabby out there in the streets you know it's all about talk guys you gotta have the talk when you're a barber too you gotta be able to communicate with your with, with your clientele and, and let them know let them know what they like because sometimes you know they're just looking for somebody to tell them what's gonna look good and what's not gonna look good but at this point, guys, this haircut is done. You can see this young man. Your young man looks stunning again. He's ready for back to school, although back to school is not here yet. But he will be ready. I'm sure he'll be back before back to school, guys. But this video is now over, guys. Again, I encourage you guys to subscribe to our channel. Big Al's Barber Channel is here for to motivate and educate you and help you further your barbering career so that you can get better and make a lot of money and you know enjoy all the things that we enjoy as barbers right here guys so with that being said uh see you guys on the next video and grind on yeah